Today I'm going to show you guys how to create videos using Revit AI. This is a super popular AI video platform that's completely blowing up right now. And today I want to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial for beginners on how to create videos using Revit AI. So step number one, what we want to do is jump into Revit AI, the dashboard, right? Consider going to Revit.ai or use the affiliate link in the description. That's where the dashboard is. So step number two then, what we wanna do is actually take a look over here at all the buttons on the side. What we wanna do is click on create a new video. This is going to bring us to the section where we can create all the different style videos. And in a little bit, I'm gonna show you guys like some of the little uh, exports and projects that I've created to kind of give you an example of what they look like. So that's what we're gonna do here. This is all the prompts and how to create videos. We can create videos where we use a prompt to have it create a video for us. We can do a script to video. We can have it turn music into a video. You can do articles to video, and then there's talking avatar videos, and then static backgrounds. So, but the layout kind of feels the same for creating all these videos. It just has a little bit different of inputs for this. So then step number three, what we need to do is click on the style video that we want to be created. So I like to just do the prompt to video because this is extremely easy. This is kind of like just talking like the chat GPT. So you just click on prompt to, prompt to video and then scroll down a little bit and you just kind of tell it what kind of video that you want it to make. Let's have it make um, five easy ways to save money. And we're just gonna have it do a target duration of 30 seconds, so the video will be around 30 seconds. And then this is very important down here. What we wanna do is actually choose what type of video files that we want it to make the video out of. You can do AI videos, where it's actually completely AI, like creating the videos, like what you see right here. This is AI. You're gonna use your the most amount of credits doing that. What you can then do is moving AI images, where it creates images, and then it will just kind of put like small effects on them. And then you can also create videos with stock footage. This is probably the cheapest option, but you also have to remember that, you know, stock footage, you're at the mercy of what we have for stock footage. For example, like if you were to make a video on Bigfoot or something, or a lot of like old history stuff, you're not going to have stock footage on that. Or like animals, well, there probably is some stock footage for animals, but you kind of get what I'm saying. That's where AI has kind of been really cool because it'll create things that like we're unable to see. Like this video you're watching here, like this, you can make crazy cool, like aesthetically fun to watch videos with AI. And that's what I advise you to do is the AI video. So let's just try that. It's going to use the most credits, but that's totally fine, right? So then what we need to do is we need to choose the preset. This is essentially the style and how like the animations look and stuff. So I always just go with default because it's like the most realistic. You can do Pixar, you can do anime, etc. There's a bunch of others you can choose. And then um, as far as giving it extra guidelines, I'm not gonna do any of that. Next, we wanna choose the AI voices. So what you can do is record your own voiceover, you can add it to here, or you can just choose from a bunch of the AI voices that they have. And all you have to do is kind of click on which one you wanna have a, you know, just what you just have to click play and have a listen and just choose a voice. Let's choose, let's listen to Brian here. The thing always happens that you really believe. Let's try Callum. Life without love. And again, all these AI voices, these are like the most popular ones. What you can also do is connect your 11 Labs account. See it right here. And if you're unaware, 11, 11 Labs, it's hard to say, um, is probably the most widely used best AI voice software on the planet. If you're getting serious about this, I would highly suggest doing that because they have just the best voices. And yeah, let's just have a listen though. Government of the people. You gotta be careful. I'd rather regret the thing. It is not so important to know. Let's choose Roger. I feel like if it's if the video's on saving money and tips to do that, I feel like a bold male voice is gonna sound okay, right? So then you just click on generate video, and then it's just gonna take a, a little bit to generate the video. And because it's completely AI generated, it's gonna take a little bit longer than the others. While we wait, I wanna show you some examples of some of the others that I've made. So here's a video that we made on Bigfoot. I just told it to make me a viral video on Bigfoot and it just did exactly that. This is actually using the feature though where it used AI generated still shots. So just have a listen to this. Deep in the shadowy woods, a legend stirs for centuries. So you can kind of tell it's not actual video, but it's, it's still shots or images and then it adds effects to it to make it move. It actually looks really good and these videos are doing quite well. 
you just have to make sure you brand your socials good. Like if like if I'm going to be posting videos about Bigfoot, the social media property should probably be about Bigfoot. A lot of people screw this up, you know, like they'll have a, a channel about tech and then all of a sudden they throw a, a Bigfoot reel on there. And it's just like, it doesn't work that way. These need to be niche specific channels. And maybe it's on history or something like that or lost treasures. Maybe the Bigfoot thing would work there. Again, I'm just giving some adv advice. So that's that one. Here's another one that we used. Um, I'm trying to think of what this one. Let's just have a listen. Um, have a listen to this. Be honest. How many hours a day do you think you're on a screen? Because the average in the U.S. is now over seven hours a day. That's not just... Oh, yeah. I had it make me a good reel with a good re or a good hook on screen time and how it's increasing. This turned out actually really well. That's not just phones. That's TV, tablets, computers, all of it. And what's scary is that it's become normal. So one of the big setbacks with a lot of these AI voices is actually how much time is in between sentences. So like if you could put this into a video editor after it's all exported and then uh, kind of clean up the time in between the sentences and also maybe speed it up a tiny bit. It kind of depends what voiceover you go with, but some of these are a little too slow because while I watch them, I'm just like, dude, it takes forever just to listen to them. So um, I'm trying to think here, is our video almost done? I don't know why I don't see the projects in here. So if I click refresh here, Oh, this is the one that's generating right now. So we'll take a look at some of the other ones. So there's also a there's also other features in here, right? Like I was telling you guys, you can do the talking avatar. So if we click on that, and again, all when you create videos in Revit AI, the the dashboard is going to look the same except it's just going to have you fill in different things. So like with this talking avatar video, when you go to create a video with one of their talking avatars, you're just going to have to paste your script in here or have it write it for you. And then you're just going to have to choose an avatar. So this avatar, we just did a video on right here. And then you just click on generate video down below. And you can add B-roll. You can do a split screen. I want to show you some of those that turned out as well. You just click generate and it does the videos. So here is one of the split screen avatar videos that we just did. And it's absolutely crazy. Because the split screen stuff, usually you have to do this in editing. But it'll do this and it, it helps get a lot of retention. So let's just have a watch on this video. Is it just me? Or does it feel like we're living more through screens than in real life? The app Notice that gapping, the, like the, the void in between sentences, that's what I was telling you guys. That's probably the biggest setback with these tools. The average American now spends... Okay, so it's really, it's pretty good, right? My advice to you is to find an AI voiceover that actually matches up with like how your avatar looks. So if you have like a super African looking woman, you want to have an African accent. Does that make sense? Hopefully, you know, I don't want to make this like about a... Uh, race or anything but it's just how the world works so here's a really good one this is an avatar this didn't have any b-roll on it check out check out how good this turned out it's ridiculous when did we all agree that spending seven hours a day staring at screens was normal that's the average now seven hours of our life every day gone to phones so i mean the avatar videos are extremely good as well um and also the other video style that we have is the static background style videos again all you do is kind of just tell it you put a script in here or you have it create one for you. It says script generator. You just click it. It'll create one for you. And then you choose like the different footage that you want to be using. And then you choose an AI voiceover and then you click generate video. And it's literally that simple. So if I go to my videos, I want to show you this one here. These are just kind of like aesthetically fun videos to watch. Cutting your screen time by just two hours daily can boost your happiness levels by 25% according to recent studies. Your brain literally rewires itself when you spend less time scrolling. But yeah, it, I mean, it, they turned out really good. I want to see if that AI video is completely done yet. Um, it is not. So all the different things we can do here in Revit AI, we can create all those style videos. If you just click on new video here. And what's really cool here is you can actually um, schedule a lot of this as well. Um, you can see here, you can publish it directly from this tool onto your, onto your socials, which is really good. We can also do the music to video, the articles to video. All you do is kind of paste the URL of the article. This works really good as well. Maybe you have like a, like a work training or something that is really boring. You just want to make a video out of it. It will do that. And it will use AI to kind of like rephrase it. There's also some other tools over here um, they're working on, which is an AI characters mode, which is kind of cool. There's also a repurpose. So if something is going viral in your niche, what you can do is kind of just like, 
paste the link here and just repurpose it. And then you can just do script writing for your videos in this feature as well. So again, guys, if at any point you want to check out Revit AI, I mean, I'll throw my affiliate link in the description. This tool is a game changer for creating AI videos. I'm just a video nerd kind of dorking out with this stuff. So, and again, I want to show you that video while it's generating. Some of these AI videos do take like a second to generate just because it, the tool is making it. You know what I mean? All right, the video just finished. Let's click ready and have a listen here. Want to boost your savings? Here are five simple ways to save money starting today. First, create a budget. Knowing your spending is crucial. Cook at home more. Restaurant meals add up. Your wallet will thank you. So it's decent, right guys? Like this is a video, like if you had a uh, social media profile on saving money or on finance, this would work. And maybe you're not gonna like kill it with a million views or something, but added views over time really kind of amounts up to a following. And I've learned that with time. So again, guys, I'll throw the link to Revit AI down below, Revit AI. Um, Watch this before getting it, you know, because this kind of gives you a glimpse into like how to create videos with Revit AI. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial guide for beginners on how to create videos with Revit AI. I've said it a million times. Consider subscribing and hit me up in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.